mixed feelings. It's disgusting and pleasing at the same time. Make eyes one size, please. And last year they were evil. Let's make them, I don't know, cunning this year. I think it's impossible to make a friendly pumpkin face. Oh, who's the cutie? Who's the cutie? You're the cutie. Okay, so should we cut him? <laughs> now, here's the plan. We finish the pumpkin, pack our costumes, go to the party, find Lamari. If she's not there, we just have fun. <sighs> and Don took away my knife, so. This knife does not do what it's supposed to. Plan. We have a pumpkin. Uh, give me the candle, please. 
The most important thing. Remind me to make a pumpkin cake afterwards. our campus. It is such a blessing to be able to live and study here. The history of our university is unbelievable. Let's ride through the third bridge. Before we get into the party, gently riding through this foggy, mysterious college park, we have only one pumpkin. We can't fall. She's gonna be there. This whole teacher student thing is kind of weird. As if they don't spy enough on us during daytime. Why would they want to party with us? But I have a feeling we need her for our coursework. She will definitely. We have such an original topic for research. I bet she never supervised students with similar projects. I bet she never had psychologists under her direction. I'm sure she's bored with her own students, so she might find our project very fresh. And the topic is on agenda. It embodies a bunch of conflicts. We can judge Inquisition, justify witches, we can judge witches. Nice costume. But the party is over there. I just want to find the rational core of what was going on in the Middle Ages. This construction seems off. Wishes are a demonstration of a rebellion, a riot, a disagreement, whatever. Which is a woman in the first place. It has nothing to do with magic. Sometimes I think that they were burned for their special strength of temper or nature, not because of witchcraft. 
Picking up Professor Lamari. That's the type that would have been burned in the Middle Ages. do the hair later. Let's figure out what to do with this. I mean how to fix it so that it wouldn't fall off. Well, you're the winner. Yes, definitely. Okay, you're good. Alright. Can you imagine what it is like to be a landlord of this castle? How to maintain it all? I just, I can't believe this place celebrated its 100th anniversary. Hey! Oh. hey. Oh. How did you come up with uh. this? Hey, Mark, take a look. So, am I the only one here dressed black and white movies? No, you're not. It's the inside. So I've been in the library the other day, reading a book about this castle, its history, how the building belonged to various families and stuff like this. I like this fairy tale story about its botanical garden. The garden used to cover one third of the entire land and spread all over to the park and it included a huge amount of rare types of greenery of different climate zones from all over the planet. There are several legends, but one of them just caught my interest the most. It's about plant totems. There's a story that each school of the uni had its own totem plant with extraordinary properties. Well, I'm not sure for certain which Plant refers to each faculty, but the properties of those plants are listed there. The first one, gigantic rose bush. The description reminds of Protea, but much, much bigger. So according to the story, having inhaled its flavor, a person acquired mind reading abilities. An interesting detail. Two people would pass by this flower. 
during its blossoming, they'd become either friends forever or sworn enemies. The second one, in the center of the garden, there was a berry that looked like a small red apple, only tasted like strawberry and banana. It grew on a small tree and having eaten a berry or a fruit, you could understand another native speaker. You could hear and speak a foreign language for two hours. It's just a legend. It's also written that one would remember anything that's been said during the conversation. So it's not like you forget. Also, it's not like you learn the entire language. You just remember what's been said during the conversation. I also suspect that this totem belonged to philologists, but it's just my speculation. The third one, Destiny Coffee Flower. That is very interesting. So, the story says it was almost inconspicuous amongst other plants. It was very small. When blossoming, it gave out those grains, which tasted like coffee, nutmeg, and basil, something. <laughs> so the grains gave you a sense of your destiny. What you should do, your life purpose, and stuff like this. It was later restricted and allowed only for the students of the fourth year of studying. Because newcomers, after eating those grains, would quit their studies. I try to find some information on how all those seeds had gotten here. Well, it's just a legend, but there's only one speculation I found. The birds. Some giant birds brought the seeds. <laughs> yeah, I know. The most interesting plant grew in that corner near the pond, and its properties were nearly impossible to imagine. Is so, this my daughter, Professor Lamari? I thought you wouldn't be here. I mean, I mean, we actually came here for you. Uh, we because we wanted you to be our supervisor for the course the project. Um, we have a very interesting topic. Uh, we've done research. We have the literature. Uh, we, if you could be our supervisor, you know, because we we've done the theoretical part and... I'm sorry. What is the title of your project? Witchcraft is a form of escapism. Well, we were thinking of changing it. Well, we've done research. We have the literature. And um, but I don't remember you. Which school are you from? Well, we're psychologists. Then I'm afraid we're only related tonight by the means of this character. Yes, we, we understand that you're very busy with your Rome students and their projects, but it's just we're into something special. And we wanted you to be our supervisor because I've read this article in Archaeology yeah. magazine, Academic Edition number five, where you've written this uh, about technology, this invisible ink which was thought to be magical in the ancient times, but then it was discovered later that... You want to prove magic doesn't exist? Uh, we want to make a research on subconscious magic. You can come on Wednesday no interpretation. to the audition room. Wednesday. There will be a test. But you will need to make an appointment um, in advance. Mm -hmm. You have somebody from history or archaeology. See? Mm -hmm. You can ask them to... Thank you. Good night. as if my mother was 